Fish, I love you and respect you very much, but I will kill you dead before this day ends. Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Look at this dude! Shoot! Oh yeah, he's huge. Oh yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, my dude. What do you need to get the on this day, the old man decides to venture out farther than he's normally gone. He sees a bird, which leads him to some flying fish. He's able to catch a tuna, which he eats before he notices his deep line has something big on it. It's huge! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get it! Nature spills out with a lavish hand. Where there is room for one life, she sows a thousand lives, and it's life, it's life, till the strongest and the most piggish life is left. Okay, so this is the first ever white sea bass, giant white sea bass that I've ever caught. It took us roughly 20 minutes. It was definitely a team effort. I mean, Peter commanded the boat, all the girls moved all the poles. It was um, truly a blessing to catch this thing. It was caught on a sardine in a secret spot. Um, secret, they, very secret. They call this the ghost of the sea because they're so hard to catch. He, uh... Stop it! She moves it so much. Stop moving it. Stop moving it. Why did you guys catch it? Secret. Daddy, what do you got to say about it? How was it for you? Scary. Scary? <laughs> Winnie, what was your experience like? Um, the experience was exciting, as you might say, and, uh, and jubilant. And jubilant. When you first saw it, what did you think? I thought, honestly, I was like, oh my god. Wow. Wow. You stand on dead men's legs. You've never had any of your own. You couldn't walk alone between two sunrises and hustle the meat for your belly. Absolutely.